Hey Lightweights, welcome back to Smart Horizon Forbidden West. Um, last video, we just did side stuff. I did a cauldron, which unlocked another tall neck, um, and it was actually really cool. It was almost like flip-flopped, um, and the, the culminating aspect of it was unlocking the tall neck and releasing it, releasing it out into the world. Um, but I didn't do any main missions. I haven't loaded into the game yet, so I'm not quite sure what order I'll be doing things in today. Um, but as I said before, I'm gonna be try to be following kind of quest level recommendations. Um, so I'll do whatever is lowest next. Um, and yeah, I don't really have anything else other than, other than that to say about, yeah, okay. It's 6.30 in the morning, my brain's not on yet. Uh, I don't have anything else to say, I don't think. <laughs> And if I did, I'm not quite sure I could say it well. Um, so let's just jump into it. If you're new here, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button when you do, so you know when I post my next video. All right, you guys, here we go. Okay, so, oops. Turn that off so I don't hear myself talking. Um, the Osram camp Talon and I were trying to find should be around here. These ones don't seem that aggressive. We're gonna do this mission with Talana. Uh, because it's the next lowest one and then depending on timing we will do at least the beginning of the Pharaoh's tomb quest but Everything let's pick this okay up because we're here ah my steel flame friend behold oh your lockbox the one I found in the tunnel just the one it was bequeathed to me when my dear ma passed never could get the damn thing open but the lock must have broken off when the rock breaker attacked haven't seen its contents at long last. I want Marcia to have it. My sister. She could use it more than me. Hold on. If it was given to you, why couldn't you get it open? I lost the key. You know how it is with small objects, big hands. Not that you know how it is exactly. I mean, your hands are dainty, of course. No, not dainty. Well forged. That's it. Poor Gus. All right, I stole the box. It was supposed to go to Marsa, but I just wanted something of my ma's to remember her by. So the box rightfully belongs to your sister, and now you want to return it. What was inside that made you change your mind? Nothing. I just thought she'd want it back. She and my ma were close. Me, well, guess you could say I was always the stray spark. All right, Porgif. Sounds like you want me to give this box to your sister. Where is she? That is a good question. I know she was working in Chain Scrape last. Huh. I have a friend there. I can ask her. Ha <laughs> ha! Well forced and well connected. Let me just put this giant box in our pocket. If I'm in the area, I will try to find your <laughs> sister. At least okay. I hear her side of the story. Okay. Well, if you see Marsha, tell her. I still remember the flying cake. I bet Petra would know where I can find Marsa. I should pay her a visit the next time I'm in Chain Scrape. The prospect of a good delve has all fired up. Glad to see you made it. Thanks to the secret passage through your base. It was quite a sight. Secret passage? Don't let the others hear you say that, or you'll have a lot of Osiram knocking at your door. And you are? This is Ragard. He's a scout with this caravan. He says Amadis was here. He joined up with our expedition right before he went through the tunnel. After we made camp here, I set out to do some scouting. I also made peace offerings to the Tanakh for trespassing in their territory. Amadis wanted me to ask around about some place called... The Rot. What did you find out? Most I learned was that it's where the Tanakh took their prisoners. Somewhere far to the west near Thorn Marsh, the Lowland Clan's capital. He set out to find it not long after. Uh, on his own? I tried to warn him, but... He was dead set on going. Did Amadis say anything about why he was heading to the Rot? Afraid not. He was a man of few words. Sounds like him. Did he look okay to you? More or less. He seemed shaken when we learned the tunnel had collapsed behind us. But then again, so was everyone around here. So you're a scout for this crew. Anything I should know about the area? Where to start? 
Down south, we've got a trio of Osirum trying to delve into the ruins in the sand. Morland Helps them already? Shown. Yeah. That's the fellow. They're quite a spectacle on their own, let me tell you. And then there are all the other folk who broke away as soon as we got to this side of the tunnel. Salvagers, explorers, all sorts of daring venturers. Just how many of you were there? Enough to lose track, that's for sure. I've also spotted some rebels a while back, too. Seems like they've been patrolling the desert. Heard all about the rebellion from the Tanakh up in Scalding Spear. That's the Desert Clan's capital, north of here. Sounds like you've really gotten to know the area. It's what I do. Thanks, Raggart. This has been helpful. Hope you find him. Okay, I'll head for Thormarsh. Meet me there. Hold on. What? You're willing to go to the ends of Tanakh's territory to find this guy. No hesitation. Of course, he's one man alone in the Forbidden West. I'm just worried about him. I think it's more than that. I'll meet you near the Lowland capital. But then, you're going to tell me who Amadis really is. Fine. I'll lay low, north of the village. See you there. I think she likes him. Holy crap, this is far away. Okay. Um, she... Now I'm kind of torn, do I wait until I have that area unlocked? Or at least a little explored. I guess Pharaoh's tomb is even farther. Oh shoot, okay. Stick stick to the plan, Tegan, stick to the plan. We'll explore on the way. I'm not pressing on until we can use that Um, I did play a little bit off camera just to get some supplies. <laughs> I didn't get a ton of meat though. I felt like everything I was killing me killing was not giving me what I needed. And I really didn't get a ton of um, trees, ridgewood either. Because I guess I didn't realize it mostly grows along the water. I'd never really paid attention to it before because I never really needed to. But I felt like everywhere I was going there wasn't <laughs> there wasn't a ton of ridgewood. I tried to do a rubble outpost and I accidentally got wrecked because they shot me with this big gun and it blew me off the side of this platform and I did not survive. <laughs> I was standing too close to the edge. Why did it automatically switch my quest? That was horrible. What the hell? So rude.
Um, yeah, let's not go next to that. Okay, this area is kind of, uh... It's pretty, but also it could be really annoying with all of the water. Like if I'm mid-fight and all of a sudden I land in the water and I'm moving slowly or I'm swimming so I can't attack, I'm going to be really annoyed. <laughs> Thornmarsh. Quite a sight, isn't it? Never thought I'd find myself this deep in Tanakh territory. Have you run into any trouble? I've been keeping my head down. Had to duck into the swamps a couple of times to avoid Tanakh patrols. Well... I'm here now, so spill it. Who is Amatis, really? Like I said before, he helped me put a stop to a hunter-killer machine out in the wilds. At first, he thought I was just another hunter from the lodge who only cared about the biggest machine trophy. And I thought he was just a grouchy hermit living in the woods. But then, he trusted me with the truth. Told me how the Red Raids took everything from him. Seeing that side of him, I don't know change things. You love him, don't you? I think I might, yeah. Then why did you part ways? When he told me how he failed to save the woman from his past, I told him how I made peace with my father and brother's deaths. He realized he needed to do the same on his own. Wait. When we searched that Red Raid's battlefield together, you said he'd lost someone close to him there. I thought you meant a fellow soldier. She was. Women aren't allowed to serve in the Karja army, but Nessa disguised herself so she could. Amadis kept her secret. When he left to come out west, he promised he'd send word that he was all right, but his letter never came. So you set out to find him. And when we do, I'll have words for him for leading us on this wild goose chase. Well, at least I kind of understand now. Amadis thought Nessa died on the battlefield. But when he learned that the Tanakhs took prisoners back west, he kept going. So I guess now we find this prison, the Rot. I did some scouting while I was waiting. I think I might have found the way. Lead on, then. What if he found her alive and he wants to be with her and not Talana? I doubt it. Any Karja prisoners from the Red Raids would have been killed or returned home by now. Then uh. what's Amadis after? I think he just needs to know. Flaming hunk of scrap. That's him. That fire claws right on his heels. Of course it is. Come on. Got you. We've got your back. Not now. I got you covered. Take this ammo. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll take that. Cause wait, where is the ammo? See, I hate when they do that. I can never find it. This isn't the weapon I thought I had out. <laughs> Ooh. What did I 
What did I do? Okay. Damn, these things are tough. There we go. Frost bombs? Oh, these must be the arrows then. Nope, that's a supply box. Great! Great. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, those shoulder pieces are what exploded. Okay. Um, I I feel like those are a lot easier than they were in the last game. In the DLC, those are freaking impossible. They sucked so bad, and the only reason you survived is because... Or the only reason I survived. You guys probably did better than I did. But the only reason I survived is because I had the fancy armor. Talana, I... You were supposed to let me know you were okay. I was going to send the message right after I crossed into the desert with an Asaram caravan. But when it became clear that the tunnel had collapsed behind this, I figured the only thing I could do was press on. Seeing as you found a way out here, however, clearly I was wrong. I'm sorry. The last thing I wanted was to worry you. So, you must be Amadis. This is awkward. And you must be Aloy. Talan has told me a lot about you. And I guess you must know about me. Uh, a little. We know you're headed for the rot. But what are you hoping to find there? A clue. Or a shred of one. Anything about Ness's fate. Maybe she died on the battlefield. Or maybe she wasted away in that prison. Either way, I have to know. Talana told me about you and Nessa during the Red Raids, but you kept her secret. We were both assigned to the Southern Spear Division. Our orders were to push into Tanakh territory through the tunnel. She was proud to serve the Sundan at first, but as the atrocities mounted, we both saw the raids for what they were. And the two of you grew close? We did what we could to protect innocent lives. It felt like we were the only ones who objected to the slaughter. And yes, we were close, until the Battle of the Burning Blooms. What happened at the Battle of the Burning Blooms? I had intel that the Tanakh forces were greater than we had anticipated. I tried to convince my commander to halt the attack. He was a drunken lout. And when I threatened to reveal his incompetence to Karja High Command, he pulled a knife on me. So I killed him. In self-defense. It was still murder. I was condemned, but I thought at least I could still save Nessa. I was too late. By the time I got to the battle, the fields were already burning. Her soldiers slaughtered or missing. What's more, the commander I had killed was from a powerful noble house. They put a bounty on my head. I've been on the run ever since. But the red raids are long over. Sun King Avad would pardon you if he knew- the Sun King can't help me. A pardon from Avad won't stop bounty hunters eager to claim their prize. So, you and Talana, um, sounds like the two of you had an adventure out in the wilds. Claustro, why is she so awkward killer, about it? Mercenaries, a shell snapper, nothing could get in her way. A scruffy hermit in the woods certainly tried. That was foolish of him, in hindsight. 
Well, we're here now, so let's head to the rot. I can't ask you to come with me. I feel bad enough you've come this far. I didn't come all this way just to leave you now. We'll see this through together. I know better than to try to talk you out of it. Come then. The rot's not far. The rot's along the shore, but we'll have to stick to the woods to avoid being seen. How did you find it? I overheard a Tanuk patrol from the nearby village talking about it. Figured it out from there. What were you gonna do if we hadn't found you? Take it on alone? I only need to question one guard. Figured I'd grab someone when they're by themselves. Well, now you have us. We're getting close. Just a little further. There it is. The rot. Those are Agala's rebels. They're waging civil war against the rest of the Tanakh. They must have taken over the prison. And they would have That's killed any good. of the guards. They were my last hope of finding out if Nessa was there. Maybe not. There might still be some clue inside. Or maybe Even some of the guards turned. Time, Aloy can see much more than you or I. And let's do it. Any scrap of hope is better than nothing. We'll have to find another way in. The front gate looks impenetrable. And there's no way we're scaling those walls. You two stay here. I'll see if I can find another way in and get that gate open. I should check around the sides. Might be a way in from the water. Okay, might as well tag these people over here, though. What is that? Go on. A lobster? We'll stay out of sight. Okay, I need to tag that. I need to get it. Oh my god. We'll wait here until you get the gate open. Yes, yes, I know. I'm just trying to tag this motherfucker. Okay, there we go. go uh, don't ask me why I said it like that. We'll stay out of okay. sight. Lots of to knock the prisoners in there. God, I hate that. I wish I could like zoom or something so I could lock onto something different. Like, why is it locked onto the lights container right now? Peg just ran into the water. Peckery, whatever it is. Gotta get to the main gate to the Talana and Amadison. Okay, what's the best path? Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Okay, go quick. <laughs> as much as I'd love to try to just stealth these people before I open the gate, it's probably not a good plan because we all know how my stealth goes. <laughs> Where are my rocks? 100% went the wrong way. Um, let's do that. Whoa. Whoa. 
How many people did that attract? Let's give it up. Steady now. Don't do that. They must have run off. <laughs> Another watch. <laughs> Another long watch. Turn around. If I can get the main gate open, Delana and Amadis can help me clear out the rest of this place. Yeah, I just don't know where to go to do that. Okay, good. Whew. Gate controls. Okay, run. I was hoping it was just gonna be the things to to shoot so that it just drops. I'm glad they uh want stealth mode right away. These take volatile sludge? What the hell? This next hit's mine. I want them both. Ready? Then search. I'll get to work. How did I whiff? Also, why did that not critical strike? That was annoying. Much better. Okay, well, it's not going better in my head. Gotta recover. Sorry, Pelican. I think I need you. Okay, um. the better hunter she must be getting nervous out there i don't know where she is who's everyone talking to okay there's somebody over there These arrows drop so badly, the hunter arrows. I'll stop you. Firing. Oh boy. Doing more damage to him. I thought she just gave me advanced. Oh, advanced hunter arrows. What she gave me? Okay. Oh 
okay? Want more? Jesus. I don't know what my problem is right now, but I cannot shoot a single thing right now. So just as one person. It's me and you. Oh, it's a big one. Glad I got the gun. All right. I was like, this is probably overkill if there's only one left. Oh. Just kidding, because now we're magically in the beach. What? That device is gonna call a machine. Oh, too late. One hundred percent too late. Fuck. This one's too late. It's not gonna back down between you and me. This is a quick. Come on, Aloy, join the fight. I'm, bitch. I'm reloading stuff. Oh, I need to get this. Right where it hurts. Let's try a different angle. No, damn it. Oh my god. For real. Okay, I need to see... Because I don't think I'm going to be getting parts off of that, so I need to see what its weaknesses are. Frost damage and shock damage. This is horrible. Oh my god. <gasps> 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 
Okay. Let's see who's here. Here. Door's locked, but that last rebel had a key on it. Freed by Karja. Have we not been humiliated enough? It's not their fault you were locked up in your own prison. I'm looking for information about a Karja soldier. She might have been a prisoner here five years back. Her name was Nessa. The Karja Nessa was here. I killed her myself. Nessa? I'll handle this. Go secure the grounds. Awkward. It's you, isn't it? Nessa, how? It's Why? Rataka. Uh, let me get this straight. You were Nessa. You were brought here as a prisoner during the Red Raids and then became Tanakh? The Karja forbid women from military service. I live my life pretending, ashamed of who I really was. But the Tanakh measure a soldier only by their strength and resolve. So I took my place among them. Ness... Rataka, I've mourned you for five years. Why didn't you let me know you were alive? I had a new life. I wasn't going back. Not even for you, Amadis. Uh... The way Amadis talked about your time together, I thought you'd still care about him. It was five years ago. I didn't abandon you. Before the battle, I tried to get Gadiah to call off the attack, but of course, he didn't listen. I ended up killing him. Then he got what he deserved. I ran for the battlefield to find you. But you were already gone by the time I got there. I didn't know. But even if I did, I mourned you, and then I moved on. Damn! All right! If you were brought here as a prisoner, how did you become Tanakh? I knew it was only a matter of time before the Tanakh killed me and the others who were held captive. But one day, one of their soldiers stopped in front of my cell, asked how a woman had ended up fighting for the Mad Sun King. As he spoke, I realized he was once Karja. Fashav. I heard how he fell at the embassy. He deserved a better death than that. The other prisoners he condemned to death, but he convinced the Tanakh to let me fight for my life. I won through blood and blade. I became Rataka and never looked back. You were willing to wear a disguise so that you could serve in the Karja army. Do you miss being Karja at all? No. The Red Raids showed me there was no honor in fighting for the Karja. And when my comrades and I were brought here as prisoners, we knew no one would ever come for us. I would have, had I known. It's better this way. Beneath my Karja armor, I found I had the blood of a Tanakh. So if you became Tanakh, how did you end up as a prisoner here again? My squad was ordered to retake the rot from Regala's rebels. We failed. Considering how much Regala seems to hate the Karja, I'm surprised her rebels let you live. You're right. I'd be dead if they knew. But few Tanakhs remember who I once was. That's lucky for you. What will you do now? You've taken back the rot. My squad will ensure it stays that way. So this is it? After everything we've been through, this is goodbye? It has to be. My place will always be here, and yours is back east. I'm sorry that you've suffered. You deserve better than how the last five years have treated you. I'll make sure you're granted safe passage out of the lowland. Consider it Nessa's final farewell. At least now you know the truth. I almost so feel like that's going to be worse for him. Worse. <laughs> you must think I'm an idiot. No. I just think you have a lot to figure out. I'll take you back east to the Sundom. After that, I don't know. Poor Talana. Talana, I understand. 
I'm sorry it came to this. Me too. Give me an Aloy a moment. I guess it's better to find out now that he's not over her, but ugh. Are you alright? To be honest, no. What's gonna happen between you two? I'm not sure. He clearly has a lot more feelings to sort through. And I won't be anyone's second choice. I want you to have this, for seeing this through with me. No hawk could ask for a better thrush. Or a better friend. So, I guess this is it then. You're heading back east. I think I'll hang around Baron Light for a while, before returning to Meridian. If you find yourself back that way, look for me there. I will. Safe travels, Talana. Well, Maybe that kind of stinks. with her the next time I'm at Baron Light. Seems like she could use a shoulder to lean on. Okay, so I went to Falls Edge. I couldn't remember exactly what it was I was supposed to be doing here. What the hell? Where am I supposed to be going? I'm confused. But I figured... Hey, it's a Karo's champion. I thought maybe that I was supposed to get information or something from here, but... Now I don't know. Find and recover Omega clearance from Thebes, Ted Farrow's private bunker. Aloy must journey across the bay to ancient ruins of San Francisco. Your blade is to be respected, Outlander. That's weird. Okay, I guess not. <laughs> so sorry if I'm missing anything at Falls Edge. I don't really know. That was weird. Well, that's going to be a pain. Shit. That's a nasty ass trap. May your enemies fall. You saved them. You fought well. Careful now. You're far from home. The outlander from the Thebes. Walked all car was on. It was Mully. Shh, she'll be back. Best now. Keep an eye on her. Is she sick? <laughs> it's Aloy, isn't it? Walk with me. I am Ateka, commander of the Lowland clan. The girl, Zella, was poisoned by the blood choke. For months, it has polluted our waters, depriving us of food and clean drink. We've learned to live with it as best we can. But recently, without explanation, the filth cleared from much of the Lowland. Yet one river still runs red, like a split vein from a rotted corpse. So the water here is still poisoned? Exactly. I sent my best squad to find its source, led by Zala's mother. They failed to report back. Oh. Akaro told me how you dropped part of the throne on Regala at the Cool Root. Saved his life. So lend me your strength. Together we can find my squad and the source of the poison. This blood choke. Is that what you call the red algae? Yes. 
A couple years ago, it was only a thin streak of red in the river. It grew over time. Until it was a constant poison. It sickens those who drink the polluted water, kill the fish we used to catch. But a while ago, unexplainably, the rivers began to clear. All except for one. Because of it, my people continue to waste away, weakening the clan. Sounds like you know Hikaru pretty well. He was my commander before he was my chief. I had served in his squad since we were bare-armed youths. Back then, he was a merciless warlord. Determined to destroy any enemy of the Lowland clan. I was with him the day he took the grove. Stood guard outside as he claimed the throne within. He entered a conqueror. But returned with the ambition of ending the constant bloodshed between the clans. Because he saw Faraday's message? Yes. That vision changed him, gave him new purpose. He became our first chief, ruler of all Tanakh, and dedicated the tribe to fighting machines instead of each other. I'll help you find your missing squad. Good. I'm heading out now. The longer the blood choke remains, the longer my people suffer. We'll follow the Red River. The squad would have done the same. Might be able to pick up some sign of them. You ready? Actually, I have some things to do first. I'll meet up with you. Very well. Look for the mouth of the Red River. Follow it, and you'll find me wherever it leads. Okay. I'll be there when I can. Okay, so I was going to do the Pharaoh's Tomb quest, obviously. Um, but Baby Light is starting to stir. So I don't want to be in the middle of that and then have to stop recording because she's waking up. Uh, so I'm going to keep doing side stuff. Sorry, it's going to have been a little bit of a break between main missions. Um, but... I really don't want to have to stop mid-main mission because that's annoying and then I can't do anything off camera when I'm locked in like that. So I'm going to switch gears here. We're going to do this broken locks one that I picked up where we have to return the chest that we randomly stuck in our pocket um, to poor Griff's sister. Um, and then kind of depending on if she's still asleep, I'll do some more side stuff. Um, I know there's a couple more side quests I can actually pick up. There's a ton over here. So, I'll probably do that. What is this? I don't remember doing that. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's, that's gonna be the new game plan. Also, the main missions tend to be wicked long, and I've already been recording for almost 30 minutes, I think. It's hard to tell since I have to start and stop, but... Um, I don't want the, the video to be too crazy long. Because sometimes those main missions are all of two hours in their own right. It's been a long time since I've been back here. Shit. Another round? No? Anyone? How are the refugees doing? They keep to themselves mostly, but they have food and shelter. Some even found work around town. Good thinking giving them that Stormbird heart. I'm glad it helped. I hope they can get back on their feet. I'll keep checking up on them. Then they'll be just fine. Hey, I'm looking for an Osram named Marsa. She might be working here in Chainscrape. Do you know her? Marsa? <laughs> yeah, of course. Tough gal. Puts her back into her work. Not like the drunken louts around here. Why are you looking for her? I met her brother out west. He asked me to return a family heirloom to her. 
Huh. I didn't know Marsa had a brother. Anyway, last I heard, she was doing a job out by those old Karja signal towers. Northeast of here. Thanks. Hmm. Ostrom family squabbles ain't pretty. Best of luck wading into that muck. <laughs> I have to go. It was good to see you again, Petra. And you, flame hair. Don't be a stranger. You really think that put up with all that carches are having an awesome hammer and metal in That lady was walking like she was pissed off. Oh. Next to Metal Flower I haven't done yet. Perfect. Okay, that was weird. Oh boy. This bristle back is too big for this bridge. All right. Um, a grease stained scroll filled with hastily scrawled glyphs. These sun lickers and their scorched out diplomacy. Let's not fuss around the forge. It's a pretty word the Karja use for not stepping on Tanakh's toes, which they shouldn't. They have every reason to be afraid of those brutes, but I'm not Karja. I didn't try and invade the West over and over again just because I felt like it. I have no use for these embassies, another polite term for waving the white flag and saying, please don't kill us. And now I'm stuck on this side of the wall too, because the Karja couldn't keep it in their sheath. Yeah, sure, things are different now. Sun King Abad believes in peaceful dialogue. whoop de doo for you. But simple delvers, traitors, and tinkers like me are sitting on our hands while the priests and marshals finish their little tea party or whatever it is they do out there. Not to mention our brothers and sisters on the other side of the wall. How are they supposed to get help and supplies when the gate is shut tight? How much longer do we have to cool our heels? I heard they're waiting on some sun priest to arrive, but weren't those nitwits the root of the problem to begin with? They riled up the Mad Sun King to start the Western invasion in the first place. Writing this was supposed to calm me down, but it's only blown up the bellows. The longer that gate stays closed, the more shards I lose. I've had it. I'm heading over to Baron Light. Someone's going to get the blast of hot air. To get a blast of hot air for all the good it'll do. <laughs> what? Jeez. <gasps> Don't mind me. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. All right, my, my bristleback just freaking wrecked that thing. Petra said Porgov's sister should be working right here. I have a feeling she won't be thrilled to hear from her brother. But at least we've got Lockbox back. Marsa? Yeah? What's it to- Oh! The Normie? How do you know my name? I, uh, met your brother, Porgif, out west. He asked me to give you this. My ma's Lockbox. That miserable chuff stole this from me. By the forge, he broke the lock, too! Uh, actually, that was from a rock breaker. Oh. So he's dead then? No. Uh, after he saw what was inside, he wanted you to have it. Oh. Then I guess guilt finally caught up with him. A seer. A jewel. <laughs> Surprised he didn't pocket it for himself. And a letter. It's from my ma. Her last wish was that I make amends with Porgo. That doesn't make sense. Porgov caused her all the family. So much grief. Always running off to chase easy shards instead of helping dad at the forge. Why would I want him back in my life? If Porgov read that letter, then maybe he wants to make amends too. He also asked me to tell you that he remembers the flying keg. <laughs> that bug. 
When we were kids, we used to grab a metal panel and slide down this big hill. But one day, Portoff got the idea to use an old keg. He climbed inside and off he went. Only, he didn't stop at the bottom of the hill. That keg kept rolling with Portoff still inside, right off a ledge. You'd think the keg sprouted wings the way it soared. Then splash, right into the lake. Thought he drowned for sure. But he lugged himself out onto the shore and shouted, again! Sounds like a good memory. <laughs> Think that might be the only time I can remember us not fighting. Just lying there by the lake, laughing till it hurt to breathe. When you met my brother, did he look okay? As well as you can expect for someone out in the middle of the desert. You could see for yourself? Nah. I mean... I heard some folks are headed out that way, but I don't know. I'll think about it. Thank you for bringing me this. Here, for your troubles. Thank you. If you decide to go, you'll find your brother at a place called Camp Nowhere. Of course he'd end up nowhere. That was sweet. All right, um... Let's just go see what's in this metal flower since we're right here. Maybe. sure if I can get all the way up. Oh yeah, there's a little place over there. Not like the way I did that. I don't think I can get past them. I guess I should leave it for now. What are you talking about? We have the thing. There we go. Nice. Cool. Okay. Um. There more stuff up there? I don't know, I'll figure that out later. Um, okay. What to do now? I guess why don't I this is gonna be the world's most boring video. Um, let's go pick up the other side quest that are around here because um, one of them might be lower. So, are you there? I'm in plain song and it's amazing. It's just like you said, the fields are back in bloom. And we have you to thank for it. If you hadn't come along, the Utara would still be starving, under siege by machines. I'm just glad it worked out. Yes. First plane song. Next, the world. I love that! That's what I hoped would happen. Yay! I'm glad you can actually like see the changes you're making in the world.
How do I get up there? Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Watch out, little ones. making quite the impression on the clan lands. Forcing the commander Takote out of hiding. Defending the grove from Regala. I didn't do it alone. The humble words of a true warrior. Is something wrong? No. Yes. There's a song I want to play. One of my own making, but it's hopeless. I'm just never going to get the sound right. What makes you say that? Back in the clan lands. The Sky Clan built instruments that cast sound to sky and across the mountains. They use long leg throats to make them bellow with the sound of metal. It's how they communicate between villages. Combining that sound with the Utarus would create a melody unlike anyone's ever heard before. But I won't be hunting for any long legs anytime soon. For now, you should try the Metal Weaver again. They might have some new piece you can use. Right. This song means a lot to him, doesn't it? It does, which is why I'm getting him that machine part. It'll be a surprise. The Utaru say that's the best way to receive a gift. Is there a long leg around here? As it happens, one has been troubling some villagers southwest of here. You be doing me and playing song a favor by getting rid of it. Interested? Maybe. Tell me more about this long leg. It's a particularly nasty one. Looks different too. Tainted like the lands around here used to be. It protects a group of machines that overran a small outpost southwest of Plainsaw. Its call is easy enough to track, but if it spots us, it'll call reinforcements faster than you can draw your bow. Take it out with the rest of those machines though. Plainsong has one less problem to deal with and Corey gets to play his melody. Victory for all. I didn't think the Tanakh cared much about gifts. When I first moved here, I remember some days were more difficult than others. But I came to embrace the life I found here, and I, I don't see why I can't help Corey do the same. He's lucky to have you. If I make my way down there, I'd like to help. I appreciate that. I'll head southwest and see if I can pick up a trail. Okay, so I went to the area with the long leg. Um, I had gone over my 15 minute cutoff point. So while everything was resetting, I went to um, where the next little errand is, just so I didn't have to worry about doing that on camera. And Jax is in trouble. This is what I walked into. Nice of you to join me. Thought you could use the backup. Oh, did I see that one?
Okay. <laughs> Your skill with the bow never ceases to amaze. Well, thank you. I'll stash this away for later. I'm sorry. Let me loot this stuff. I'll be right there. I got one more thing. You okay? You arrived not a moment too soon, Huntress. I thought I heard a long legs call, so I hastened to follow, but I was caught unaware by these machines instead. There it is again. Let's go find it. It's my turn. Is that the long leg? Sounds like our long legs at the top of that cliff. Ammo. It oh, sounds like there's climbing. more than a long leg up there. We'll make quick work of it. This reminds me of my early days as a veteran. Always running off to hunt in the wilds. As far away from plain song as possible. What changed? I saw my first Utaru students become fighters worthy of any Tanakh clan. I felt useful, like I belong. And so playing song became home. I'm sure Corey will find his place too. I hope so. <laughs> Can you guys face Tom for me? No, Jax, do not follow me down. Do not follow me down. I'm a bad example. Hey, like, just go up. What the fuck? God damn. Oh my god, nothing's working right now. What the fuck? Almost there. It sounds like that long leg isn't alone up there. There's our long leg. And the guitar will fell. Might be best to silence it before it can call reinforcements. That one is too far away. Alright, um... trouble. No, we're not. We're fine. We're good. Looks like it's strong against shock damage. Okay, I just need it to keep moving forward. How are you still alive? I'm with you, Amy. I still don't know where we are. We're good. Stay hidden, Jax.
Go on. Shoot. Go back that way. Fuck. It's gonna see me. <laughs> that was close. Perfectly done. I did it. Right. Follow my lead. Okay, that was whiff. this That's not the ammo. Shit. Show me our prize, Huntress. Oh, I have to talk to Jax there. All right, um, I didn't loot the stuff around here, so... Hey, I always look at my face cam camera for how long I've been recording. Hey, Lord, and a word before we go. Oh, I can't talk to Jax. Just wasn't letting me right then. Um, it's like not showing me my time right now. <laughs> Many thanks. So I keep Lord. losing track of time. Without you, I might have been in trouble. You would Why have been. That might have been. Take that piece to Corey for me. The villagers fell by these machines need to have their seeds buried properly first. Are you sure? 
Tell Corey I better be the first to hear that song of his when I return. That's sweet. I wonder what have what would have been different if we didn't talk to Jax. you had left plain song well i thought about it but then i'd have to carry this long leg throat all by myself you found Jax did. i was gonna say we better not take the credit for this can still hear perfectly fine so let's hear it i'm gonna need some help aloy can you take this to the workbench please you won't have to do much i promise You'll see a wide cavity on the instrument. That piece I should fit right in. Your... Hey, Lord, let us see your handiwork. I think it's good to go. He's fitting in so well Two peoples indeed. Thank you, Aloy. My debt to you seems to only grow. Hearing that was payment enough. That may be, but you should at least take this. You deserve it. May the wings of the ten hearten your step. I love it! I think that's one of the best parts about the side quests and the errands in this game is that when you do something for someone, it's not like, okay, you did it and you're done. You keep running into those people. You keep seeing how those people are like growing and changing and interacting with their environment. And it's just, I love it. Like it, it makes it feel like a real world. And these people are just playing Frisbee, which is awesome. I love that. All right, guys, I am going to stop there. Um, I have absolutely no idea how long this video is gonna be, so I apologize if, if it's a little short. Um, some of my recording times went a little long. One of them was only like five minutes, so I, I have no idea. So I apologize if this one is shorter. I also apologize if it's a little bit more boring because um, we really just did errands this video. Um, but as I said, I love them, and I hope that you do too. I just feel like they make the world feel, like I just said, feel lived in, feel real. Um, they well, they round out the world so nicely um, that I, I get swept away in them. I get sucked into them. Um, but next video, I will do the main mission. And right on cue, baby light is screaming your head off. Uh, so I'm gonna make this short, but I will do the, the next main mission with the Pharaoh's tomb. Um, next video, I'll make sure to start with that right away so that I can get through that. Um, so thank you for being patient with these past two videos, being side stuff and errand stuff, but I promise I will pick up with the main mission next time. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button when you do so you know when I post the next one. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope you have an amazing day.